This is the time before India became independent. A journalist wanted to do a story on Gandhi. He met Vinoba Bhave. Vinoba tried to explain how it could be made possible. He said to do a story you must first understand, but to understand you must first live. You will need at least three months. If you can spare that, come. Else, Janet, let it be. The journalist was a determined young man. He stayed. Living according to the customs of the ashram, spun cotton, helped in cooking, cleaning, slept on floor, ate what was offered, drank what was given. After three months, Vinoba called him. Before you write the story, I must ask you a question. If you answer right, I will know you're prepared. The journalist nodded, confident of himself. Vinoba asked him a simple thing. What is the basis of Bapu's work? The journalist smiled. Satyagraha? Truth? Vinoba smiled back. Mm-hmm. The journalist, a little puzzled, smiled again, quickly saying, um, Ahimsa? Non-violence? Vinoba beamed, but gently nodded a no. The journalist, pretty puzzled by now, sat in silence. And then, a little hesitant this time, he said, Swadeshi? Locally made goods? Vinoba smiled kindly. Mm-hmm. No? Then one by one, the journalist went over the vows of the ashram. Non-stealing, self-discipline, celibacy, non-possession, manual labor, control of palate, fearlessness, removal of untouchability. No, 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 went Vinoba patiently. The young man was by now exhausted. He laughed. He went and sat near Vinoba and said, Acharya, I give up. You tell. Vinoba held his hand and lovingly whispered in his ear, Bapu's work, his life, has only one thing as its basis, experimentation. In the world of self and in the world of people, his greatest gift to us. I hear the journalist never wrote the story on Gandhi. He just lived his life, experimenting with truths, shedding the lies. The foundation of Gandhi's work, self-innovation through unceasing experimentation. In Acharya Vinoba's own words, we must take from great men only their ideas. We must not become too attached to what is incidental in their lives. We should also derive from their words the noblest meaning they can bear. That is to say, we should look for their subtle import in this age of science, the Manu of the Puranas or even Marx won't do. I submit in all humility that even Gandhi, taken at face value, won't do. Happy Gandhi Jayanti.